Would you like to have a grid like this when you're sketching to make it easier to snap to certain dimensions and sizes? Here we go. Hey, Tyler Beck, Tech and Espresso. Today we're talking about the sketch grid. The sketch grid allows you to sketch and have these kind of reference blocks or reference squares behind you that you can snap. So in this example, I could snap it to 33 by 10. Great, and that just made it a little bit easier. That did not put smart dimensions on for me automatically. It's just a reference when I was sketching. So how do you turn this off and on? Go down to the bottom view pane here and find layout grid, grid lock, snap to grid, and the grid settings. If you go to your grid settings, you'll notice there's this adaptive versus fixed. Fixed is where you set the sizing Adaptive is it will try to intelligently set up a grid based on your relative sketch size. So when you go to adaptive, the whole sizing thing goes away because it's going to try to intelligently set up the grid for you. With fixed, this is where you're kind of setting your guiding size. So if you were working in, you know, say, a, you know, more like a thousand millimeter sizing increments, and then how many subdivisions do you want? So with the thousand grid spacing with a hundred subdivisions, you can see that's relatively bigger than what it was in, in my initial setup. Something to be aware of when you're starting a brand new sketch, if this grid is not showing up, come over to your sketch palette and you'll want to make sure that the sketch grid is turned on and the snapping is turned on if you'd like it to do that. Let's turn on the grid and not have the snapping for just a second. You'll notice it does not snap to any of these increments. It doesn't snap to the grid. But if I turn that on, it's now snapping to these corner points. Now, what could you do to allow for more control or to maybe tighten up the refinement of this sketch control? If I go to my grid settings again and bump up the subdivisions to a thousand, now the grid setting is much tighter, and so you have a lot more corners to snap to, which gives you greater control. When I start a new design, I can see that the last grid settings that I used come over. And if we were to start a sketch and choose the grid settings for adaptive, we'll hit OK. And as I'm sketching this rectangle, you can see it resizing as I make this bigger and bigger and bigger. The grid continues to increase to account for the rectangle that I'm trying to drop. So that is helpful. But also something to be aware of are these reference numbers. Now where do those show up? In the grid settings, there's this reference numbers option and it's available in both the reference numbers in the fixed and adaptive. Okay, so it's worth noting that when you're doing the sketch grid, even though it's fixed, as I stretch my rectangle, it is growing that grid so that I can continue to snap to it. And mine, it's showing this reference number or numbers as a reference point based on the values that were set in my settings. So should you use the sketch grid? Absolutely. If you like it, definitely use it. If it makes it easier for you to get your sketches kind of to a, the relative right shape, that's a great method. I don't particularly like using it. It kind of bugs me. The one thing I'd always remind you is make sure you still put on your smart dimensions. This is what's going to do to find your sketch and make it intelligent and easier to edit in the future. Hey, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I've got daily tips coming for Fusion 360. I'll see you in the next video.